Hi, Christine again. Um, I just thought really quick I would show you guys uh, what I got. Um, as some of you know, I'm getting ready for my wedding in September. Uh, my fiance is making the dress. It's going to be floor length with a train, all chain mail, so all metal. Um, I already have the cotton underdress to go underneath it. I've been fitted for the corset. Hopefully I can be fit, downsized for the corset later um, before the wedding. Um, but anyway, some of the other things I have to make. And um, if you can go over to my Etsy shop and you know buy things, or if you know somebody who wants to buy something, ship them my Etsy shop because I need to be able to take some time off. Um, so that I can actually make things because some of the things that I have in progress are the flowers. I am in the middle of making uh, two sets of fairy wings for uh, two, uh, my niece and um, a little girl that I've taken care of for years that has a heart transplant. And um, so both of them are getting matching fairy wings to match my dress and everything else. Um, I also have to make the necklaces for the bridesmaids um and uh oh god my brain's farting i'll tell you it's just a lot of stuff one of the other major things i got to do though is my boots for the wedding um i couldn't afford like 300 dollar boots and because we're doing this at a renaissance festival and there's dirt everywhere and rocks and everything else i didn't want to just go in sandals uh for the wedding um so what I am doing is I am going to make my own moccasin style boot and modify it to look more fantasy. And um, I was planning on taking dyes to the leather and stuff so that, uh, you know, if it gets dirty, it's no big whoop de doo you know. Um, so what I ended up doing is I'm going to be working with a suede and I wasn't planning on it. I was hoping for a smooth leather. But there's this company that I really like. It's called Crazy Crow. Um, it's Crazy Crow Trading Post. And they're online. It's crazycrow.com. And they are a Native American supplier. They also supply uh, uh, rendezvous. They supply black powder. Um, any th you can buy teepees. You can get all sorts of stuff from these people. Um, and uh, Troy and I do a lot of rendezvous. And... Um, so uh, I've ordered from these guys for years. Uh, one of the things I just ordered, and I didn't quite know what I was getting, but I found on, on eBay what they call German tanned uh, garment leather. And um, I know I got suede all over and I have, this is my, I have to work out and a little, go to belly dance in a little bit. Anyway, um, it's about, on eBay, it was anywhere from $160 to $180. And needless to say, I thought that was too much because they have to have uh, latigo leather for the sole. You have to be able to have lacing. I've got the pattern for the boot um, that was given to me by a saddle maker years ago when he retired. So um, I went and I thought, you know, this is so expensive. I'm just going to go see what Crazy Crow has. The photos on eBay were taken from Crazy Crow's website because I think the people are buying from Crazy Crow and then reselling on eBay. Because, yeah, this was $50 off, but I paid $85. So $135 versus $160 to $180. You can see where the markup is on here. Um, the German tanned deer, the buckskin I got, it is suede, hence I got covered with white suede, suede fluff. So I'm really gonna have to dye this once I get the boot sewn. Um, but this is the softest thing I have ever, ever felt. This is such a high quality hide, it's unbelievable. And this is used for the native wedding dresses. As you can see for the 80 something I paid for it, this is quite a large split. Um, you can bead on this, you can do anything with it. And this is, you know, the premier stuff for wedding garments. Um, I didn't know what I was ordering when I ordered it. 
and I'm like, holy cow. And what's really nice is once I get done with the boots and I have enough leather here for the boots, I'm gonna be able to take the scraps and make bags out of them and you know, do stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it is made in Germany and it is genuine deer skin. So when they say German tan, it's coming directly from Germany. Um, so very, very happy with that. Saved myself a lot of money. If you see Native American supplies on eBay, um, my advice is to go over to Crazy Crow and check what their prices are. Now I did find out Crazy Crow does not have white latigo leather, which is the thin strips that you use for lacing. So I had to get that off of eBay. Um, Tandy Leather didn't have it either. Um, now Tandy Leather, when I found out, I ordered leather glue off of eBay and I ordered the Latigo off of eBay because uh, you have to have a big membership with Tandy in order to uh, get their discounted prices. So people who have the membership are reselling on eBay. I don't have the money right now to go and get the year membership and I don't buy enough supplies anyway for that. Um, so that's just a word of advice. If you're gonna buy a lot of leather supplies, then yes. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, you can just go off of eBay for that. But like I said, always check Crazy Crow first. You do not have to have a tax ID number. You don't have to have a wholesale ID number. Just go and order from them. So one of the other things I got, um, this fits up to a size 14 foot. Thankfully, mine are not that big. <laughs> but this is the Latigo. And um, I also got this from Crazy Crow. It was a lot cheaper than eBay. Again, it's a nice, thick, hard leather. And what this will be will be the sole of my boots. And I have enough that I'm going to be able to put a small heel on as well so that I have some comfort while walking because we will be out there all day. Not kidding. Um, so that was it. And uh, the order total, you know, the Latigo pieces was a set of two, four inches by 14 inches. And I paid $13.50 for that. I paid, eight, pardon me, $89 for the garment leather versus what I would have paid on eBay I saved an awful lot of money so like I said crazycrow.com um, I've bought from them for years they you can make smudge fans they've got kits for learning beadwork they've got all sorts of stuff and it's you can get porcupine quills you can get whatever you, you want okay so um, wonderful place to buy from, and that's my recommendation for the day. Hopefully you guys find it useful. Um, blessed be, everybody.